click OK and get out of this. Let's actually go ahead and add an instrument. And you'll see now that in our, our uh, orchestral unpitched percussion, we've got custom one. Add that to the top of the score. And there it is. It's a five line instrument because remember, we actually changed this from one to five lines early on in the process. So let's go ahead. We'll put in, I don't know, some half notes and have this keyboard so you can see exactly what I'm doing. This should be Tam Tam, Large Gong, Medium Gong, High Gong. Chiari, suspended cymbal, oops, we don't hear anything here, Whoa. ah, there it is, okay, there's our suspended cymbal, and let's have about some choked uh, suspended cymbals, we'll use those, we'll put these in as, as quarter notes with staccato dots, okay, and we don't get oral feedback right away, but we will hear it upon playback, and then how about to finish off, how about some suspended cymbal rolls? Uh, right at the end here. We'll use uh, perhaps whole notes for this. Okay, so we'll go G and then there we go. We'll put in a, a roll on that as well. Okay, and then send that over. All right, let's play this back. Should be playing back in order of this. Remember with these different articulations on the suspended symbol. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Now, say you're a composer who, instead of this key, wants all the percussion instruments on one line, but different note shapes, like this, to uh, determine which instrument is struck. This is kind of an extreme example and probably unorthodox. However, you can actually use this method to uh, devise other percussion instruments uh, to your liking. So. Um, I wanted to demonstrate this in a way that would show you all the different capabilities. And you can actually mix and match. You could have this on a five-line staff if you liked. So let's go ahead and create another percussion instrument. Remember we go to House Style, um, Edit Instruments. And let's actually say, based on the symbols, we're going to say New Instrument, Yes. And we'll call this Custom 2. And this time we actually are perfectly happy with a one-line staff. So we'll just delete everything that Sibelius gave us here. And let's go very quickly and create a new percussion instrument. So let's say um, for the first one we want a tam-tam. Whoops, we'll bring that up. But what I'm going to do this time is actually input using the same notes that we used before. Recall this was D4 and um, it was uh, D4 on this particular key. And the reason for this is you can actually input using the computer key keyboard or your uh, music keyboard and then get these particular note shapes to show up automatically. So let's see, we want this little crazy shape here. This is actually shape used in shape note music, but we'll use it to demonstrate the flexibility of the percussion map here. Okay, and same process here. I'll try to go quickly. Metal, and we say tam-tam. Uh, okay, and it should play tam-tam. Great. Okay, let's say new. Okay. Here is, let's see, we want this to be the large gong. And we'll say instead of, uh, let's see, this one was on D4. So we want this one to be F4. And we'll say, ta let's see, medium gong one. Okay. Let's get another. <laughs> Okay, and we want this shape, and we want, let's see, A4, and we'll choose a sound, medium gong 2, or perhaps, oh, I'm sorry, I this one should be medium gong 1, I apologize, this is a large gong, there we go, this is our tam tam, okay, new, Bring that down. And we want a high gong here. And let's say we want this to be C5. 
and this to be our medium gong two, since we didn't actually have a high gong. This will do, this will suffice. Okay, let's keep going. There we go. Let's see, we want Piatti. That, um, or this will do as well. Either one will work. And let's say we want this one to be input using E5. And we'll choose a sound, we'll choose our Piatti. And then we want another new, oops. Get that up. It's actually this one over here that we're altering. We want this to be our suspended symbol. So we'll use the normal note head for that. We want this to be G5. And this is going to look pretty similar to what we did before with our um, crash symbol. And then a new one. Let's bring that up. We want this to be again G5. And this to be our staccato and this to be our choke. And then one more, pop it off there, is our eight tremolos, again G5, and our sound will be the roll. So if all goes well, let's create a new instrument based on Symbols Custom 2. It should play back very similar, or actually identically, uh, identical to the um, one that we first created but using this key instead of the other the five line key so I'm gonna input these the same way as I did before using the same notes because remember we said input pitches see D4 is the tam tam there's the large gong using F4 medium gong using A4 high gong using C5 all are being input are being shown using different shapes. There's our um, Piatti suspended symbol. And let's do our staccato um, suspended symbols here, or chokes, if you will. And then finally, the tremolo or the roll. And let's hear it. 